scripture says. The scripture says in Ephesians 5, it says, All things that are exposed are made manifest by the light. Or whatever makes manifest is light. God wants to make manifest. You know, you see your heart. You see, you see how that God wants to give you this other heart. All right, you read Exodus. You need a new heart. They talk about slavery, man. What kind of hey, fucking God? Hey, man. Hey, hey, if hey. anyone lacks wisdom, yeah. let him ask of God who gives liberally without reproach. But let him ask in faith, not doubting. For any, for he who doubts and says is a double-minded man, a double-hearted man. Double heart. Ask in faith. Ask in faith. God will give it to you. He'll give it to you, man. He gave it to me. He's no respect to a person. You gotta come in faith. Hey, the Bible says, the word that they heard did not profit them, not be mixed with faith. And then they heard it. Oh, you know, I heard God's word. I remember there's faith in there. And then the same miracle started happening in my life. Because I had faith. But without faith, it's impossible to please God, the Bible says. Whoever comes to God must believe that he is. And he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Guys, you are diligently seeking God. You get rewarded by God. But the Bible says in Psalms chapter 2, verse 4, it says he's going to speak to them in his anger and distress them in the deep displeasure. That's right. Because God says that he's, he, he's pleased. He's pleased. To give that for those who have faith, it says, the kingdom of God. It's God's good pleasure to give you the kingdom, but his deep displeasure is going to be as against the wicked. He's going to distress them in his deep displeasure. Oh, don't be distressed by God. Fear the living God. You're going to be under stress. You're going to be under deep stress on the day of judgment. God's going to distress you. He's going to distress you. Guys, guys, you can't escape. You cannot escape from God. He's everywhere. He's watching. He examines even the heart. Oh, the Bible says that hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more the hearts of men? The hearts wow. of men. Your heart is exposed. You just come and say, look, good God, I am in great danger. God, please, I plead with you today. Give me Jesus Christ. Send me Jesus Christ. Send me the comforter. Send me the teacher. You know, please, God will send it to you, man. Look, if you call upon God, who judges each man's work without partiality? Conduct your task yourself throughout the time on your earth in fear. Knowing that you were not redeemed by girls or things like silver or gold from your aimless conduct, these booty short things is the aimless. Are they doing booty short? They're all congregating around and filled with what t shirt contest and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the best bike contest and the aimless conduct received by tradition from your fathers. Your father's the devil. Your father's the devil. That's what Jesus said. Your father, no, no, no. Your father's the devil. You're seeing it by Abel's conduct from the devil. The devil. But you know what? God can, can, be, can be an adopted child, adopted in the kingdom of God, in a grafted child of God. The Bible says, it says, who before knew, he also predestined to be conformed into the image of his son, it says. It says that God will send forth the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, praise God. Yeah. Can I say something? Sure. Uh, I'm just shut the fuck up. Okay, buddy. Alright. You want a shot? Said your peace. Now God's gonna say his. God sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart, crying out, Abba, Father. See that you have the spirit. It says that when you were slaves of God, it says slaves, you were you were you know you you, you were held in bondage under the elements of the world, it says, but when God he sent forth the spirit of his son into your hearts. That you've been revered, revered, released from your slavery, your bondage, and now you can be a son, a son that abides from her, a daughter of God, a princess of God, no longer a harlot, no longer a harlot, no longer a whoremonger. Men who go after harlots are called whoremongers. You may be a whoremonger and end up in hell, you end up a son of God, a prince of God, a ruler of God. It says if we're children of God, we're co heirs with Christ. To be a co heir with Christ, receive the kingdom. Jesus said, if he overcomes, he will sit down on my throne, as I also overcame and sat down on my Father's throne. I want you to be on the throne with me in Christ, ruling forever in the ages to come, it says. Oh, the Bible says, it says, oh, it says that I will make them rulers and kings and priests to my God. You be a ruler, rule over your sin, the Bible says. Look, if you do well, will you not be accepted? But if you do not do well, sin lies at the door. That's and this really society so is for you, but you should rule over it. You can rule over marijuana. You can rule over it, man. Rule over those temptations, man. 
Well, you don't gotta give in. No temptation. No it's easier to accept what is common to man. God is faithful. Well, now allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able. With the temptation, we'll also make a way of escape that you may be able to bear it. You guys, you guys are not giving in to temptation, but the Bible says, Blessed is the man who endures temptation. And when he has been tried, he received the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. Promise it. Promise when you endure temptation, don't give in. Don't give in any longer to temptation and endure it. You can do it when you cry to God. You can do it when you trust in Jesus Christ who is God. You can do it when you confess your sins to God. You repent to God. The Bible says, I held back nothing that was helpful to you, but I professed. It says both the Jews and the Greeks repentance towards God and faith towards Jesus publicly and from house to house. We go everywhere preaching the gospel. Publicly, from house to house. Ah, you know, somebody, if somebody, I preach to many to save some, Paul said. Came all things to all men. I use every means to save some of them. My bullhorn as a means. Every means. I got every means to save somebody. Are you the one? Who's the one? Lost sheep of the house of Israel. I left the 99 get after the one. Who's the one? Somebody's got to be one. By my works. You believe there's one God, you do well, but even the demons believe in tremble. You want to know, oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered up his son Isaac on the altar? You see then that works was working together with his faith, and by faith, uh, by work, faith was made perfect. It says that he was called the friend of God because the scriptures were fulfilled. Now, I hope you would say that to the devil. Bye, devil. No more of this sin. You know, God's going to say bye-bye. You know, just like that song. Bye-bye-bye, the day of judgment. He says, no, no, no. See you, goodbye. Guys, guys, there's no acceptance for sinners in, in, in God's kingdom. Outside of the dogs. Outside of the sexually immoral. Outside are the thong wearers. Outside. Outside are these people that... They just just reject, rejecting Jesus. Well, God, God's trying to love on you today. God sent the love of God. God sent the love of God through the preaching of God. You guys love your sin too much. You're loving your life too much. You're going to lose your life. It's going to happen. Your life's fading away. What the Bible says, it says, Oh, Lord, deliver me. Deliver me from all my transgressions. Do not make me the reproach of the foolish. I was mute because it was you who did it. Because when with rebuke you correct man for iniquity, you make his beauty melt away like a moth. Surely every man is vapor. Surely every man is vapor. Vapor, every man. Oh, but the Bible says, hear my prayer, oh God, oh Lord, and give ear to my cry. Do not be silent at my tears. I am a stranger with you, O Lord, a sojourner as all my fathers were. Remove your gaze from me before I go, and I have regained strength before I go away and am no more. But you cry to God, God, that he strengthened you, that you might fulfill the word of God while you're here, because you're going to go away and go, and there's going to be no more of you. You guys aren't strangers to the world right now. You're, you're known to the world. You're, you're friends of the world. Guys, guys, that's a big problem on the day of judgment. That's a big problem. You got a big problem with the big God. You need, you need, you need, you need big mercy. You need a lot of mercy. You need, you need, you need the blood of Jesus, which is powerful. Yeah, you know this is the power of God. This is the, the hope of the nations I'm talking about here. This is where it all comes down to in the end. Yes, that He upheld us all things by the word of His power. Says He can uphold you in death. He can lift you up out of death, from the gates of death, that you might proclaim in the gates of the daughter of Zion, and tell of his praise, the Bible says. That's for the hope of everybody, that we, the dead do not praise God. The dead do not praise God, they don't. No, they go down into silence of this. It says, let the lying lips, who speak insolent things, proudly and contemptuously against the righteous, and just let them be put to silence in the grave. What's up, y'all? Oh, we out here, Farm Myers, preaching the word of God. I'll give the glory. I'll give the glory. This is a beautiful yeah. sunshine. This is good. No, I'm not going to stop. No, no. I'm going to stop right now. No, don't stop. Maybe when I'm done. Hey, come here. Come here. Come here, come here for a second. Let this guy preach, man. My question is, my kids wanted to believe in God, and you've talked so much. 
Yeah. And they scare people so much. <laughs> yeah. That it's scary. No, 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 you it's chase scary. them away. What is kids. scary, man? No, these women in bikinis scare me, that, man. Stop that, stop that, stop that. I'm scared these kids are going to see pictures in their no, mind of no, naked no, no, women no. out here. You're scared that I'm preaching in Psalms chapter 31? Come on now. What is this? Hey. Wait, are you, do you believe the Bible? Hey, Jesus said, I will be with the unworthy. I will walk with the unworthy. And that is what you guys should aim to do. And instead of talking down, try to walk with. Try to encourage. Try to inspire. And, and, I, and that's what I'm saying you guys should do. That's what's up. You guys find the treasure in you and earth and vessel, the excellence of the power of God. Power of God. Well, in a vessel of God. We're the temple of the living God, the Bible says. God will dwell among them. He can dwell in you. But right now you got demons in you. Right now you got rats using demons in you. Right now you got poor demons in you. You need to live it. The God might have you with the Holy Spirit. He will make you a vessel of sweet vessel of honor. You're disrespecting God. You're disrespecting my kid. No, you don't teach your kid. You're talking loud. You guys don't stop talking. You guys don't stop talking. Awesome. Oh, you see? That yeah, you're crossing no, that. No, for real, no, you're scared. Don't be grabbing me. You go to jail for that. Yes, wicked liar. You go to jail right now. Don't be touching me, man. Wicked man. Don't touch me. You're being a wicked liar.
fire you up. Now what are y'all fired for? Huh? What, are you, what are you stand for? You stand up for righteousness. Now, I'm going to be on the bullhorn because you're going to have to well, be okay with it being broadcast. So, uh, we have other people here. If you want to have a private conversation, you can talk to Matthew. What's your question? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're getting ready to move, but there's thousands, hundreds, not thousands of precious souls in the sound of this bullhorn. We don't know what their end might be this very week, this very night. Hey, listen, man, why don't you give us a voice? We're in the lab of the sinners that ride with the saints. Hey, if you had a bullhorn, you could say whatever you want. This is pretty hey, sweet. Hey, whatever. You got a voice. I'm saying, I, well, let me have it. <laughs> whatever. What do you want to say, sir? Yeah. What do you want to say? Rather laugh with the sinners than cry with the saints. Laugh with the sinners, but cry with the saints? Well, no, the Bible says, Blessed are those who weep now, they shall be laughing later. But if you laugh now, you'll be weeping later. See, that's what Jesus said. Well, I, said, you know, I, want to be, I want to be rejoicing forever. I don't want to have a temporary happiness. That's what Jesus was teaching. Your, 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 your enjoyment in your sin is temporary. It's going to leave you weeping in the day of judgment, a lake of fire. I'm quoting you to uh, Luke chapter 6 and Matthew chapter right. 5. Do you ever read the part when they were stoning the slut? Yes. Okay, what did Jesus they say? They never stoned her, though. Like, yeah. He is without sin cast yeah. the first stone. Amen, amen, amen. All right, so chill out. I have no stones. There's no stones here. Hey, hey well, he said something else to that woman, sir. What did he say? He, he said something are. else. He said, go and sin no more. But you missed that part, sir. You're not, are you sinning out here? Yes, yes. I am. You I'm are. <laughs> Yeah, you're not doing what Jesus said to the woman caught in adultery. You can't do that. You're, you're going to the city for and more. You can't more do more. that, sir. You say yourself, you'd rather laugh with the sinners. Hey, hey, I'm calling sinners to repentance. I'm doing what Jesus said to do. And call them to repentance. Ma'am, I can't stop the preaching. Why do you stop? No, no, the Bible says you, he says you need to cease to do evil and learn to do good. It says, I know when you learn, you make mistakes. Look, look, the Bible, the Bible says this. Oh, no, the Bible says this. See, you need to care what the scripture says. You need to describe the truth of a man's heart, okay? The scripture says, it says, those who are born of God do not sin because, because God's seed remains in them. They cannot sin because they have been born of God. It's not saying that they don't ever sin, but it's saying they don't practice or walk or justify their sin. They bring it to the light, they confess, and they repent. See, whenever I sin, God convicts me, young lady, and I go to the beauty of Jesus and I plead for mercy. I say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner. God, God, change me. Don't let me be a sinner. Don't let me be a uh, sinful, right? Wicked, ungodly. You understand that? That will lead you deeper into your sin, deeper into, into the judgment. Don't you fear ju being judged by God? Do you know what the Lottie does? This does not have the best Wicked here. This might be this might be one of the most Nobody wicked places in, 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 in this country. Yes, it is. It's fun. Fun? Yes. It's fun to you until you get until you get raped or something bad happens to you and you're at the, you're at the wrong end of a bad drug deal and someone pulls out a gun out. There's bad things that happen at Lonnie Yeah, bad things. Bad things, man. Guys, I don't want you to get consumed. Because God's gonna consume these places. God's gonna wipe them out and everybody that, that's far taking him. So man, you watch. Watch. He might he might do it one at a time, or he might do it all at once. I don't know. I'm hoping he doesn't do it all at once. Because if he does it all at once, you know what God's gonna do? Hey. Yes, bad. Oh. Yeah. Good thing I got a program on my computer that, that blocks out all the 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 filthiness. Hey man, one more thing that God can forgive you of. Praise the Lord when you repent. When you repent and say, I'll no longer offend, I'll no longer show my buttocks off, God can forgive you. But until then, guys, it's just going to get worse. You know what the Bible says? You know what the Bible says? This is, what, this is what you're experiencing right now in these last days. The Bible says in hold on, 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 13, it says that evil men and imposters well, the will go here? worse like and worse, deceiving and being Jesus deceived. Evil men, the evil men, imposters, fake Christians, fake people. Oh, if this they Jesus worse worse. is so real, how come bad things happen guys, to such good people and good things happen guys, to such bad people? Guys, because of the curse of sin. You don't have much time. Because of the curse of sin. You don't have much Jesus time. You're not, gonna get, you're not going to get all these spring breaks well, in the future and the party and drink. And, all these because things are happening. No, no, no. God's not going to allow it. You're not going to go out forever. From just death, you're gonna die. Everybody's gonna die. Yeah, so Jesus came die. to break the curse of eternal death. But at the same time, you say everyone's gonna die, but according Jesus to Jesus, came to earth like in, a, in a body, yes. like you so have and I have, if you believe in Jesus, two thousand years ago. In reincarnation. 
Oh, no, regenerate. He died. regenerate. He died in his earthly body. He was raised three days later, and now he has a heavenly body. But it says that the Spirit of Christ, Jesus everywhere, he's the, whole, he's the Holy Spirit. He's God. So, so he's not bound by one body. He's not bound by space, time, and manner. He can be everywhere. That's, why, that's how we can trust him. Because he always is with us to the end of the ages. <laughs> yeah. you know, I don't have a clock. You've been us for a while. Annoying. I believe in God, but yeah, you sure, just for you sure. to move down a little bit. Sure, don't you understand the we help that God wants to give you? He's watching them, yeah. He is. Actually moving he, he, he's there to, he's there to, to hey, hold them accountable. Yes, God told me huh? to tell you to move down the beach. No, no, I, I can't take advice from you. We came from there. We're going that so, way. Uh, you're with them. You're with them. I'm with them. I'm with us. You're with them. Sir, why are you cussing? I wouldn't take counsel from that. Guys, guys, guys. We're not going to be here much longer. But you, look, don't stop these people from having a chance. Don't have these, these people need a chance. I'm asking you nicely. It's time for you to move down the beach, okay? Okay. I'd appreciate it. Well, I'm going to stay for a little bit. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, no you're, you're not fucking staying. Hey, man. Are you the law? You're not the law. What, where this fucking drink, motherfucker? Why are you so, why are you so angry? Why, why are you so, so mad? Angry? Because you don't want Okay, okay, let's go. And I'm trying to be a nice guy, and I understand what you're doing. Okay, okay. I don't, I don't. Then don't break the law. Don't break the law to hurt me because God defends me. So do the police. So, sir, you need to just. But the thing is, it's for you to move yeah, down yeah, the beach. I'm going so much longer. I'm moving that way anyway. Why, the, why is this annoying to you? Is it because you're sinning? You know what? If God was if God was so great, I wouldn't be living in a fucking hotel. I freaking I just moved down here, my house ain't closed, I'm living in a freaking hotel for two weeks. It's cost me it's cost me like fucking five hundred dollars a day. Okay. You know what? So hey, I'm trying to be nice to you. Honestly. Come on, man. Come here, come here, here. Come here. I'm trying to be nice to you. This guy. Give this guy a shot. I don't I don't want to be angry, Cam. I'm trying to be nice to you, but the thing is, I just want to give you a Bible. Uh, I mean, if you're genuinely in trouble, I hope God helps you. I just, I hope he does. I just, I don't know why you haven't seen it for a while. Maybe you're not enough. We only got an April or so. Maybe we came here for you, sir, to help you. Maybe we came here to help you. <laughs> but no, maybe, maybe God wanted to encourage you. God wants you to turn from that. And encourage you today. Okay. To help you. We're not going to be around very long, sir. Not much longer. You know, even if we do leave, and we are going to leave, it's not going to change the anger that's inside of you. It's not going to change. It, it, it's, it's always going to be there until you give your life to the Lord. It's just the way it is. All right, so we're going to move down. Thank you. We're going to move down. We gave, we gave you guys. We cried out. Thank you. Okay. Have a nice day, man. You're a nice guy. Spread out the love here. We got to spread the love. We're going to spread the love of Jesus. To the heathens, the hedonistic, the ungodly, and for sinners, the Bible says, the unholy and profane, the word of God, the law of God. It's good for you guys to hear these Bible verses, man. Something might get in there. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like an unto a mustard seed. Hey, guys, your turn. Your turn. Your turn to hear this, this, this word. This is power. Let me explain something here. Right yeah, it's beautiful, and they, isn't it? And he created all of these people. Well, he didn't, yes. Okay. He didn't create them to live as, as, as heathens. He created them to be God's image. You know what the Bible says in Ecclesiastes 2, 29? Okay, so can we enjoy hold God's on, image? On. And let me just, just explain to you. It says that God made man upright, but man has sought out many devices or schemes. So so God wants to restore you, just like it was in the Garden of Eden with Adam and Eve, where there was no sin. That's what we're trying to get no, to. No, 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 there's no Garden of Eden here. There's yeah, judgment. No, this is definitely Garden of Eden. Oh, oh. No, 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 Satan, Satan, Satan is, 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 is what, you know what the Bible says? Man, here's my concern. The scripture says that the devil has blinded the, the minds of those who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ should shine on them. All of this is God's creation. So yeah, let yeah, us, yeah, but people are perverting it. People, and you know, but that's why the things have to die. Things die, things are dying right now. God is a perfect creation that never dies. So we're here today to see, we want you to enter into, there's going to be a new heavens and a new earth. There's going to be new bodies. That no more pain, no more sorrow, no more death, no more of this, 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 you know what I mean? We live in a fallen world. So I'm here today to offer you that, but you got to do it God's way. you gotta, you got to receive, the Bible says, with meekness, the implanted word that's able to save your soul. You believe, you believe in the power of the love of God, you believe.
that God could change you forever? Uh, he can do it, man. Uh, he did it for me. Yes, he can. I was a drug dealer. I was sexually immoral. I was living for this world. I'm ready now to go into the, 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 the real world. I'm living but now, now I have whore drugs, man. You couldn't pay me to smoke weed. I, I hate it. I hate the smell of it. I, I hate the feeling of being outside of... I want to be sober. Sober-minded, you know? You might be able to hear. You might be able to... Guys, 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 guys. That's a great delusion there. The Bible says, says that God will send them a strong delusion. You're their delusion. You, you got a Bible verse on your chest, but you have no refuge. Psalm if the earth be removed and the mouth be carried into the midst of the sea, we will not fear. That's what Psalm 46 said. But you, 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 Wait, Psalm 46, verse 7. Which what makes you strange. Just said? What you just the said? holy place of the temple. I was quoting to you the whole psalm. It says, you know, it says the nations were angry, their wrath has come, it says. For it says that they, they, God cast down them, the nations, it says. He broke the spear in two. He cut, he cut the bow and he broke the spear in two. He burned the chariot in the fire. You're wrong. He's going to burn the chariots of sin in fire. He's going to burn the bonds in the fire. He's going to burn the, 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 he's gonna burn your bowls and your bonds in the fire. There's going to be no, there's going to be no weed to smoke. There's going to be no weed to smoke on the day of judgment. Guys, guys, you're not going to be allowed. You're not going to be allowed to continue to smoke weed when you die. No, the former things will pass away. But you get ready now to stand before God. God's going to sober you up on the day of judgment. God's going to sober you up. Yeah, and then he's going to burn you up. Don't be sobered up, then burned up. You know? No, I'm not. Hey, I'm an ex-child of the devil, praise God. I'm translated to the kingdom of darkness. I used to be a lot of God partier. I used to go after these things. I used to be arm in arm with the wicked. Now I come here today because I'm on this side now. I'm walking with the righteous. I'm in the light. Come to the light. Let it all come out. Let it, let it. Okay, I'm not going to be here very long, but I just need to care for souls. I care about your soul. Look, you know what the Bible says, sir? Jacob, Jacob's wife gave him fucking his slaves. You do those things in private. Don't bring, don't bring shame on you. Guys, you know what they did in the Sodom and Gomorrah? They had sex in the streets. In Exodus, streets. they got rules on slavery. Is that shit okay. cool? Fuck you. Look, sir, this is what I came here for. I came here because the Bible says... You want attention to him? No, no, no.